welcome to our Jurassic show sponsored by Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Today we're going to be talking about our favorite franchise 65 million years in the making. What was that? Did someone leave the cage open? Aw, it's just you, Blue. Atta girl. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is a sequel to 2015's Jurassic World, and it went through brachiosaurus sized changes before making it onto the big screen. Join us to see what made it to the final cut and what went extinct. Dinosaurs chase humans, it's Dino My Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, this is what they got right! Also, fair warning, there will be spoilers. Jurassic World finally gave us a fully operational dinosaur theme park. And all was well. Minus the part where the dinosaurs escaped and went berserk. Don't you just hate when that happens? Sorry. <laughs> the dinosaurs live on Isla Nublar, located off the coast of Costa Rica. But did you know that the film was actually shot on location in Hawaii? That's right. The beautiful island you see in the movie is the Aloha State. The filmmakers actually tried for years to come up with the right concept and eventually sparked two ideas, both of which ended up in the Jurassic World movies. One, velociraptors being trained and obeying humans. Oh, Blue, that's you! Oh, where's the dinosaur clicker when you need it? And the second idea, switching the action from Isla Nublar to a mansion with deadly dinosaurs lurking in the shadows. I'm already afraid of the dark, and now you add terrifying dinosaurs to the mix? To direct the haunted house angle of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, the producers asked none other than J.A. Viona, a longtime fan of the Jurassic World franchise who was ready to make this action-packed film. Speaking of action-packed changes, Fallen Kingdom has more dinosaurs than any other previous film in the franchise, including some brand new to the screen. The Baryonyx, Cynoceratops, Carnotaurus, basically every source you can think of, and a new dinosaur, Sticky the Sticky Mollock. And you know what? It's about time. These dinosaurs have been feeling left out for years. I feel you, Stiggy. But maybe the most radical development is right there in the title. In Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, the island from the previous movie is destroyed and the dinosaurs are unleashed into the outside world, something the filmmakers tried to do with this franchise for over a decade. And you know what that means? We can't wait to see what happens in Jurassic World 3. <laughs> right, Blue? That's my girl. <laughs> Thanks for watching What They Got Right, sponsored by Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. What movie should I tackle next? Let me know below with a comment. Then click up there to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for new videos every single day. Oh no, that must be one of the escaped dinosaurs. We gotta run before we go extinct. Every girl for herself, Blue.